we're gonna make one final stop on our way out of this is called Old Trail Town. Uh, if you ever seen that movie, Jeremiah Johnson with Robert Redford, uh, he is actually bur buried here. John Johnson, not Robert Redford. Um, we've got the cabin, original cabins here, Butch Cassidy, Sundance Kid. Um, we got all kinds of stuff here. Uh, this was not the original site for most of these. They moved them here to preserve them. Uh, so here we go. We got to go pay a fee. We have a guide. Guide books are handy. We're taking a different route home and we're coming through something called the Bighorn National Forest. We're still in Wyoming and there's just a little overlook here that we're gonna check out. I can hear the water but I can't see the water. The water's right down in that gully. We're pretty close to this mountain here. We're right in it. It's Bighorn National Park I believe it's called. We are rising in altitude pretty quickly. I haven't seen any signs for altitude, but we are definitely up there. And it looks like we're still going to be going up for a little bit here. This is the opposite direction. We're now leaving Wyoming, heading towards South Dakota, but we're still pretty far into Wyoming right now. We left Cody uh, maybe less than two hours ago. We finally started to come down this mountain, Bighorn National Forest. We've been up on this mountain up and down for over an hour and uh, we're finally coming down we got this is an eight percent grade um, look it up if you don't know what that is that uh, that is pretty daggone steep let me tell you most of the grades we've been on is six this is an eight percent grade um, and you maybe you can even tell from the footage here we're we're going down fast no don't want to take my eyes off the road for a split second here Down. We're going down fast and uh, we got a long way down. We were up there at uh, around 11,000 feet. White knuckle here, guys. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is straight off the end. Whoa. I think I'd like to have a bigger guardrail. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to walk across. I like the only car on the whole mountain up here, so I'll walk. Holy crap. Okay, now is where you get a little, uh... Yeah, of course, now a car comes. Whoa! I'm pretty high, y'all. Yeah. There's our road we're trying to get down. Holy coly, we are way up here. As high as we are right now, 15 minutes ago, we were three times as high. 
This place is amazing. Don't get too close over there. What? Don't get too close because I won't be able to get you back up. <laughs> you fall over that one, you're on your own. Okay, we are staying right off the main street here in Leed, South Dakota, in a 1905 house, which is typical of the area. You can see all the other homes here. Uh, there's a small parking area for three vehicles. That's ours, and there was two more there. It's tight, but it's doable. The roads here in Leed are incredibly narrow particularly the turn, so if you're driving a very large vehicle, uh, you may have to park somewhere else to get up here anyway. Um, front porch. And there's a typical Airbnb, there's a lock on the door. And this is a home. It's been converted into three bedrooms with a shared bath and a shared kitchen. So if you like peace and quiet, this is absolutely the place for you. There are no televisions in here. So if you want to watch something when you're going to bed, you know, just bring your headphones and your laptop or something. So there's a shared living space here as you walk in. The floor is angled. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty wild. The front porch is also angled, so you feel yourself kind of sloping down. Uh, so they have a nice little sitting area here. These folks just left. I can uh, show you what's going on. So this is their, their bedroom. There's no air conditioners on this property. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. There's no air conditioners in the bedrooms. There's two, there's a window AC here. So if you're super hot, you can just sit in the air in here and cool it. But there are fans in each of the rooms. And um, we're here in the summertime. I didn't need any AC. It was fine. All right, there's a kitchen here. It's a very large kitchen. It has everything you need. It's a shared kitchen, full-size refrigerator. So you just uh, clean up after yourself. You know, when we leave, we'll, we'll wash our cups and we'll wash our dishes and put them away. There's a lot of this hazard tape because they're, just, they're still doing the renovations, so the floors have been raised and lowered. <sighs> Get the lights on for you. Uh, it's a very small bathroom. <coughs> Old-timey. Claw foot, cast iron tub, just a wrap around shower. Uh, it's just about as basic as you can possibly get. But it gets the job done. You can use the bathroom. You can get a shower. A little awkward, I'll be honest. I did try to take, take a shower. Uh, good water pressure. Really hot water. No problem there. This is another room. This is a small bedroom, which they're all of the small bedrooms. This place is designed to just, uh, for a place to stop over for a night or two, just to get some sleep and then move on. Uh, this is the room we're staying in, so of course it's, it's a big mess. But uh, we got a big, I think I said it's a king size bed. No? No, she says it's a queen. Uh, but again, very basic. But, the, but it gets the job done. Uh, we just had a breakfast here. There's a dining table, shared dining table. Uh, and that's it, guys. Looks like there used to be a fireplace here, yeah, in the old days, but he's renovating that out. And we got a nice, uh, nice couch to just sit on and chill out. And that's it. That's the uh, tour of this condo. Make sure you check the description for some links to this place. Uh, it's very inexpensive. And uh, you just need to be aware that this is kind of like sneaking back into your parents' house when you were a kid. Because you got people sleeping and you're coming in here at 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night after playing in the casinos or whatever. And you got to be real quiet so you don't wake anybody up. So you're, you're literally just sneaking into your room. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, we got in like 11 last night or something, and that's exactly what we did. We just tiptoed our way to our room there. So anyway, it's a cool place for the price. Um, can't remember the price, but I'll put it in the description for you. Um, 
would not recommend this for a long term stay, but for a night or two, you're just cruising through lead, it's perfect. Just be aware of that um, narrow street thing, because if you're pulling an RV or something, you're not going to get up here. Talk to the owner of the property. He, there may be an alternate parking place I don't know about.